I don't know how you make decisions. Maybe you're meticulously planned, or maybe you throw caution into the wind. Today, we're going to be making decisions using maths. Right, guys, we're set. OK, we've got 17 beaches. We're trying to find the perfect wave. One condition, no phones, no surf reports, only maths. This is all about increasing your chances of making the best decision, whether that's picking a flat, finding a partner, or choosing a beach. If you go with the first one you see, the best is probably still ahead. Wait until the end and you might have passed the best. When do you stop looking and start choosing? Maths will show us the optimal time to stop. For us, it'll mean looking at the first six beaches. Just looking. It's looking nice. It looks pretty tiny, actually. Like, out of 10, what do you reckon? Oh, well, about six. A six? So, let's say this is the northern beaches. We'll just check this one. Can we move on? Yeah. The maths only really works if we don't backtrack too. So once we've rejected a beach, we move on. No. We're testing the water so we can make an informed choice. This is probably the best beach we've seen yeah. so far, yeah. I think. Yeah. There's waves. Yeah, but we can't go because this is just our observation Oh, beach. really? Anyway, right, back to the car. Let's, Let's go. Do it. Oh, There's a mathematical way that helps us solve this kind of problem, and it's called optimal stopping. So for the first 37% of the beaches, which is six beaches in our case, we just observe. You don't pick, you're not allowed to go in, you just observe. And after that, the next beach that is better than the ones that you've seen is the one that we're going to go out in. OK, a lot to take in. Time, I think, to show you my working out. Right, so this is how it works. When you have a large number of choices and you want to spend the least time looking but still have the best chance of making the perfect selection, you need a sample group. The mathematically ideal size of this sample is the first 37%. You should observe, but reject. If you pick the next one that is better than those you've seen, you have the best chance of it being perfect. So we've seen six beaches. We can now start choosing. But why waste time in the first six beaches when we're just going to go to the seventh? Good question. So you can't because those first six beaches serve as a baseline. So basically, it gives you an idea of what the conditions are. And then at the seventh beach, you can start making a decision whether you can go out or not. It doesn't matter how many choices you have. We could look at a 1,000 beaches. The 37% rule still stands. It looks a bit more protected here. Like, the swell's getting in a little it's bit. South it's well, a, yeah. South facing. It's, the water's really glossy. A bit flat out there, though. Yeah. Head north a bit? Yeah. Yeah, head north. Head north. <laughs> so here we are, beach number 13. Oh, there's a set. There's a set. What do you reckon? I reckon this is it, Lily. I reckon this is it. Let's do it. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. Ready? We've arrived at a beach that's better than any we've seen. Of course, it's still possible it's not the best one. But with optimal stopping, we have the best chance that it is just right. Optimal stopping took mathematicians years to work out. It was solved by this guy, this legendary mathematician called Merrill Flood, back in the 1950s. You ready, guys? Yeah. A complex calculation of probability, it has been distilled down to one simple equation. For the maths minded, it's 1 over the mathematical constant E, which equals 0 0.368. So that's almost 37%. So if you're house hunting and you have 20 choices, reject seven before considering anything. And if you're looking for the love of your life through online dating and giving it 100 different dates, don't even think about starting a long-term relationship until you've seen at least 37. We make a good team, Maths Nuts. How did you go? Because we just covered some complex and some really big maths. And we only went looking for a beach.